Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I have a keybind video for you. Many of you have been asking me for it, so here I am. If you notice, on the bottom left side of my screen, I have an extra webcam. So you can see my hands. Maybe it'll be a little helpful. So, before I get into this, I just want to say that keybinds are a personal thing. It's up to you how you want to do it. Do what feels comfortable to you. Um, just as long as you, you do it, because it will improve you as a player. I'm just showing you the way I have my stuff set up, just to give you guys an idea. Um, so with that said, let's talk briefly about the equipment I'm using. I'm using a Razer Anansi keyboard, and I'm using a Razer Naga mouse. I believe this is one of the first editions that came out. Um, it's got 12 buttons down the side, a couple buttons on top, and a majority of my keybinds are on this mouse alone, and it definitely makes my life easier when it comes to keybinds. Um, so let's talk about movement first. Um, I'll tell you how you want things first. You, you want to always be either running forward or strafing left and right because you're running at full speed and it's a very efficient way to go about running around in this game. Now when I first started this game I was using the arrow keys and the default left and right on the arrow keys to, are to turn your character. You don't want to do that. Keyboard turning is looked down in this game. So over here on WASD, my A and D keys are strafe left and strafe right. And backpedaling is looked down in this game. Uh, I know many people who don't even have backpedal keybound. So they just strictly either run forward or strafe. I have backpedal still keybound um, just because for the monk, I think it's you can do some weird things with it. Maybe you can fake someone out. Like you could flying serpent kick and quickly, uh, you know, do a back roll or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let's get into the keybinds now. One through twelve, the main action bar. This bar, when I go about, you know, making keybinds for all my tunes, I want this bar to have the abilities I'm using most often, the ones I'm pushing almost all the time. So. These are all on the side of my Naga, 1 through 12. I'll quickly go through them. They are Jab, Tiger Palm, Roll, Blackout Kick, Fists of Fury, Chi Wave, Tiger's Lust, Flying Serpent Kick, Paralysis, Touch of Death, Rising Sun Kick, and Every Man for Himself, which is the human racial, and it's pretty much just a trinket. Now, the next bar up here, these are abilities, these are my cooldowns and abilities I use less often. And again, these are 1 through 12, all on the side of my Naga. The thing is, I have to push shift, so they're shift 1 through 12. Now, while using WASD, my pinky naturally rests on shift. So I really don't have to do any work at all, you know, finding this key. It's, it's just right there, my pinky's resting on it. So, shift 1 through 12, I'll name them off. Touch of Karma, Tiger Eye Brew, Invoke Zune, Spinning Crane Kick, Fortifying Brew, Spinning Fire Blossom, Storm Earth and Fire, Transcendence, Transcendence Transfer, Leg Sweep, Detox, and Zen Meditation. So, pretty easy so far, right? We got 1 through 12 and Shift 1 through 12. All in, uh, on the Naga, pretty much. That is pretty convenient. That's 24 buttons. Now, the rest of my keybinds are a little more complex. But not really. Bear with me here. Um, Alright, so the next two buttons on the right action bar of my screen. I am using these top buttons on my Naga. You can't really see them well, but there's one right here, and there's one right here. And the top one right here is Spear Hand Strike. The bottom one is Grapple Weapon. And again, I have 1 through 6 after that on my Naga, but they are Control 1 through 6. And again, these are abilities I use less, less often. They are Crackling Jade Lightning, my Monk buffs, Nimble Brew, Energizing Brew, Symbiosis. And that's pretty much it for my Naga. Um, the rest of my keybinds are on my keyboard. And I'll tell you the, the keys I use for my Monk. I use Q, E, R, and F, and Z, X, and C. And I use alterations of them, like Shift, Q, R, E, F, Control, Q, R, E, F, that sort of thing. Um, and 
very quickly, Q, R, E, and F are Expel Harm, Disable, my on-use PvP Trinket, and Healing Spears. And that is pretty much all the monk abilities you need to PvP with. Now, my extra keybinds, like ZXC, that sort of thing, that's, uh, that's arena macros. They're extra keys I have solely for arena. Many of you ask me, how do I paralyze things without targeting them? Well, I'm using arena macros. I'll give you an example of some. Uh, so, if you look on the left side of my screen, over here, I have three paralysis buttons. Um, they're additional to the one I already have in my main bar, and these are my arena macros. So very simply, it goes something like this. Number sign, show tooltip paralysis. Number sign, show icon paralysis. Basically all that does is gives you the paralysis icon and shows you the tooltip. And I have slash cast, open bracket, at arena1, close bracket, space paralysis. This will allow me to paralysis any one of my, uh, any ar arena enemy I choose without targeting them, which is really handy. Um, now, I do this for multiple abilities. I use it for paralysis, I use it for to Tiger's Lust my teammates, I use it for detox, um, what else could you use it for? Storm Earth and Fire, maybe Grapple Weapon. So there's quite a few abilities you could you could use with this, and I recommend you try it out because it's, it's really helpful. And another thing I want to talk about is focus, focus targets. Alright, so focusing is a big thing in PvP, and I'll tell you how I go about it. Um, okay, my Alt key. It's on the left side of my keyboard, near where WASD is, I push it with my thumb. Whenever I push Alt, any ability I cast will go towards my focus if I have one. Um, so... If I have a healer focused, I'll just push Alt and 9, and that will paralyze you know, my focus target without me having to actually target them, which, again, is pretty handy. Um, now, here's, here's something that you might catch on to if, if you don't have Arena 1, 2, 3 macros and you're just trying to focus paralysis people in arenas. Classes that can stealth, like Priest, for example, um, when things stealth, you lose their focus. So you have to go and, and add them as a focus target again, which doesn't take a lot of time, but it's, it's annoying to do. And if you have uh, Arena 1, 2, 3 paralysis macros, you don't have to worry about losing your focus for that. Um, you'll just paralyze them anyway. So that that's a bonus to having Arena 1, 2, 3 macros. Um, all right. I don't think there's much to talk about. I gave you the basic setup. Um, I will leave my complete keybind setup in the description so you guys can look at it, study it, I don't know, just give you an idea. Again, you don't have to copy me. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, do what feels comfortable to you. And it just takes practice to, to memorize all these buttons. Um, I certainly didn't do it overnight. It's going to take time if, if this is new to you. And what I recommend doing is just doing a little bit at a time. Put like a couple abilities on some buttons, try them out, get used to them. And, and once you feel you're pretty comfortable with it, add a couple more and just keep going. And eventually, you'll get it down. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.